This is code.org, Computer Science Discoveries or CS Discoveries, um, Unit 2, which is their HTML part. Obviously, this is Lesson 9, Project and Multi-Page Websites, and then we are on Level 3, Linking Pages. Let's see what they're going to have us do here. Making a multi-page site. A website should include more than one web page. Makes sense. And they should connect to each other. Here's an example of a project with multiple pages that are connected by hyperlinks. The blue underlined words that take you to another page when they are clicked. That's what they're talking about here and here. Do this. Use the inspector tool to see the code that creates hyperlinks on the top of the index HTML. So why they're saying index HTML is because this is the index HTML file that we're on. So let's click on inspect. And oh yeah, a herf, right, in quotes, recipe. Yep, just like we were discussing earlier. And keep in mind, just like images, oops, let's turn this off for a moment. Just like the images, when we add an image, it appears over here, right? This is a list of our files. So, and then when we code to put in an image, it is the IMG SRC equals, and then in quotes, whatever the file name is over here. Well, this is like an image file, except, well, it's not. It's an HTML file. It's a text-based file. And to add those, instead of doing IMG space SRC, we do A space HERF um, equals, and that stands for hypertext reference equals, and then in quotes, and again, exactly. This has to be exactly what the file name is. So if I were to put a capital R here, this link would no longer function. Just like if an image, when doing an image, if your file name has a capital letter and you forget to put it in there, that, that image will fail to load. This here is the text that is going to be shown to the user right here um, that they click on to go to this link. So let's see, discuss with your partner how you think the code works. Well, I guess you're my partner and I just discussed it. Uh, click on HTML, the click on recipe.html in the files list on the left hand side. Okay. Add a hyperlink to the top of that to the top of this page that will take you back to the index.html. Okay, well let's go ahead and shrink this down. Scotcheroos, yummy family treat. Huh. I wonder if this works. Ooh, peanut butter. I'm sure it's good with peanut butter and chocolate. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and create links. I want to check though. Okay, they did their links, their little menu here right under their large heading. So let's put ours in a similar spot. So I'm going to put it right under Scotcheroos. Let's figure out where that is. Aha. Uh -huh. And then here is where I'm going to put mine and a so we do the less than sign um, and then a space herf equals oh herf <laughs> h reference h so herf okay anyways equals and then in quotes we need it wanted us to do it back to our index dot html i'm gonna go ahead and hit enter this is similar to what it does during uh, typing in file names for pictures, it's the same thing. We're typing in a file name for our HTML file. So I'm going to hit enter and I now know that that file name is perfect exactly correct, which is what it has to be. Quotes are around it already. And then what should I title this link? I could say home page. I'm just going to put index because that's what the page is called. But uh, home might look a little nicer. Regardless, and then we always need a closing tag. So uh, less than sign slash a greater than sign and that looks good I'm not sure if it's gonna actually let us load it. Let me hit refresh and save if yours doesn't show properly You might have to hit refresh and save. Let's see if it will actually let us Link back if this will work. It might not. Oh, it did excellent. Well, look at that <laughs> Success let's continue onward then to um, well level four